Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you how to make these fondant potatoes. There's like 5 million ways to make potatoes and this is definitely one of the best. All done with really simple ingredients, delicious, savory, pair this up with any protein and there's your fancy dinner at home. For the full ingredient list and directions to this recipe, check the description box below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. The potato we're gonna to use today is gonna to be a russet potato. You can use any potato you like, but I think the russet potato is a great potato to make fondant potatoes because of the, the length of the potato. You get really like nice slices out of it. So I'm gonna take the skin off these potatoes and as I'm taking the skin off, I'm gonna smooth out the outsides to make it as round and smooth as possible so we cut those nice discs, they have a good shape. I'm gonna drag my knife tip on the cutting board to cut these approximately one inch discs and I'm dragging my knife tip so the potatoes don't get stuck to the uh, knife. And they're just approximate, none too thin or, or too thick. And as I'm cutting them, I'm taking them and I'm putting them in a bowl of cold water next to me. And this is gonna help remove some of the starch from the outside of the potato. So I'm gonna let these sit for about 15 minutes. And you can see after about 15 minutes, the water is cloudy. So the potatoes have let off some starch into the water. After these are done soaking, I'm gonna transfer them over to a baking sheet that's lined with a piece of paper towel. And I'll take another piece of paper towel and dry the outsides. I'm really gonna make sure that they're nice and dry so when they hit the frying pan, there's no moisture on them. Now we're gonna make a little cooking liquid with some chicken stock, some white wine. I never use cooking wine, always just buy the cheap stuff. A little splash of some white wine vinegar and some chicken bouillon paste for some extra flavor. I'm gonna whisk these together till that chicken bouillon paste dissolves inside the liquid. And we're gonna set that aside. So now that these potatoes have air dried for a little bit, I'm gonna spray them with just a little bit of olive oil and then season them with salt and pepper. And uh, we're just spraying them up with the olive oil so that the salt and pepper have a binder to stick to. And now over the top of each one, fresh pepper is always best but if you wanna use the pre-ground stuff, you can do that. Just make sure you're sprinkling from up high for a nice even distribution. I'm gonna make sure that my pan is hot enough and anything over 350, the oil will start to smoke a little bit and you'll get a nice crisp on the outside of the potatoes. So we're gonna put a little oil in the pan. We're also gonna put a knob of butter in there. I'm gonna move the butter around the pan and the butter should brown slightly. And then we're gonna take those potatoes, season side down, and we're gonna put them inside the frying pan. Once they get a nice, beautiful brown color on the outside, we're gonna take our time and carefully flip each one of them over. And I like using this high rim saute pan, so if you get a little oil splash, at least it's contained a little bit. But check out that beautiful brown color. That color's mega flavor. Now we're gonna take some garlic cloves. We're gonna throw those around the pan. Let those cook until they start to become fragrant. And here's our cooking liquid that we made before that we're gonna pour into the outsides and in and around, trying to get too much on the top. We're gonna let that evaporate for just a little bit. And now we're gonna take some fresh herbs and we're just gonna layer them on the top and make sure that we're spreading them out. Here I'm just using some rosemary and some thyme. The smell coming off this pan is unbelievable. Now we're gonna cover that up with a nice tight cover. We're gonna transfer this over into the oven and we're gonna let those bake in a 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. So after about 20, 25 minutes, the potatoes should have absorbed some of that liquid, some of it evaporated, and those potatoes should be super duper tender. The herbs have wilted a little bit, we're gonna take those off because they've already done their job and got their flavor in there. Now we're gonna carefully transfer these over to a serving platter. Once they've been transferred to the serving platter, we're gonna take a pair of kitchen shears and some of the fresh thyme, and we're gonna cut a little bit right off the ends, right on the top of these potatoes. And then we're gonna back that fresh thyme up with a little fresh parsley for an even brighter pop of color. 
All right, so let's take one of these and let's see how we did. I'm gonna go for this one right here. I mean, look how nice this looks. That It almost looks like a scallop where it's got this really dark color on the outside, nice pale on the outside. I probably don't even need the knife, but I'll use it to cut right through because it's just gonna be super duper tender all the way through. And now look how delicious that looks. Mm. Oh man, that's a good potato. I mean, super duper savory from all the, the liquid that we put in there. You could taste the garlic and the herbs and it's, the potato is just so tender and that color on the outside really gives it a nice delicious flavor. Mm. Oh wow, that's a tasty potato. Mm. Well, I'm Chef Ange. These are my fondant potatoes. Uh, get these on your next holiday table. Let me know in the comments section how they come out. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And if you did like this video, give the like button a little love. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.